This is one thing that most of you are confused about. Which one should I use? Shopify CLI or ThemeKit? Which one is the best? ThemeKit or Shopify CLI? Should I still learn ThemeKit or should I just move on to Shopify CLI? Those are just one of the questions that I hear a lot. So in this video, we'll answer those questions so you know what to do next. Hi everyone, Yan here from Coding with Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Weekly How from Birder.com. And in today's video, actually wait, I'm kind of curious if that website is available. Oh, it's not. Anyway, in today's video, we'll be talking about Shopify CLI versus ThemeKit. Which one should you use and which one should you dip? But first, let's understand these two CLTs or command line tools. First is ThemeKit. ThemeKit is a command line tool that is used for building Shopify themes. With ThemeKit, you can deploy and watch for changes in your local development and upload these changes directly to your Shopify store. But in order for you to be able to use ThemeKit with a Shopify store, you will have to generate an API key and a password or use the ThemeKit Access app and get the password there directly. Now, what about Shopify CLI? Shopify CLI is a command line tool, just like ThemeKit, that is used for building not just Shopify themes, but also Shopify apps. So that's already one of the differences between ThemeKit and Shopify CLI. Another difference is you can connect your Shopify CLI to your Shopify store without having to install any apps or generating API keys or password. With just Shopify login command, you can connect Shopify CLI to your Shopify development store or Shopify store. And once Shopify CLI is connected, the Shopify CLI will use all of the necessary data from that store, including the products, orders, customers, settings, and so on. Now, how can you create Shopify themes with ThemeKit versus Shopify CLI? Let's start first with ThemeKit. To create a new Shopify theme with ThemeKit, all you need to do is to use the following command, theme new followed by the flags password, store, and name. By running the following command, ThemeKit will generate a basic theme template and it will create and upload the theme to your Shopify store and it will create a configuration file for your new Shopify theme. Whereas with Shopify CLI, you can create a theme project by using the command Shopify theme init. Though this will not create a basic theme template, this will instead clone a copy of the Shopify theme called Done. If you want Shopify CLI to create a basic theme template, you will have to use the flag called clone-url with a value of the URL of your Git repository, which means you will have to make this repository yourself. For example, we had the following repository that we used in our Shopify theme development course. So if you're interested to learn how to create a Shopify theme using Shopify CLI, you can check it out. I'll put its link in the resources below or in the description below. So which one is the best CLT or command line tool for Shopify theme development? As of this moment, or at least in my personal opinion, there is no best CLI for theme development. Hold on, I know you're about to say, ooh, theme kit is trash. Shopify CLI is good. Theme kit is still usable, just like Shopify CLI. It will all just depend on your workflow. At the end of the day, you're still creating Shopify themes, whether you're using theme kit or Shopify CLI. But I understand why some people would think that Shopify CLI is superior to ThemeKit. Because there is a feature that is very useful, especially if you want your Shopify theme to follow best practices. And that feature is called ThemeCheck. ThemeCheck is a linter for Liquid and JSON. It basically detects any syntax errors like missing templates, unused objects or snippets. It also detects if you're using a deprecated tag and so on. I know you can still install ThemeCheck using other ways or other means like LSP or package managers, 
but it's a lot of work, obviously. So if you want this feature, just install Shopify CLI and you're good to go. So which one should you use? If you're not familiar with the two CLTs or command line tools, then I would still suggest you learn them both because I don't think Shopify will deprecate ThemeKit anytime soon. And there are still minor bugs in Shopify CLI, so it's best to have a backup tool that you can use so you're not gonna be stuck with Shopify CLI. So that's pretty much it. I hope this gave you an idea of what the command line tools are or what these command line tools are. And I hope you find a tool that suits you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If not, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button and that notification bell button so you will miss my future uploads. Wow, it's been a while since I said that. Just like our sponsor for today's video. Nah. Nah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Peace. Your cat is pretty big now. Hi. Ha <laughs> ha